Hello everyone, this is my new course on static timing analysis. My name is Kunal Ghosh and I have been teaching online since past couple of years and have similar years of experience in the semiconductor industry as well. So why am I teaching this course? We have seen that when once you are able to connect the top level things to down to the transistor or down to basic, things really become very interesting for us. And, and for that you need to have a lot of dedication, lot of experiments, lot of research. So what we have done is we have clubbed all our research and experiments into a single course and and that that has been put up online so why you should be taking this course for professionals I have different answers for professionals and for freshers for freshers you will get a level of start while you enter into this new world of static timing analysis for professionals you will get an eagle's eye view to look into a timing path so for example you look into a violation you look into a reg to reg path and you see you, you will be able to relate things down to the transistor level and come with an appropriate solution to it so that that could be that is the one of the reasons that you could take this course and have an eagle's eye view on on your analysis or on your timing path the curriculum so static timing analysis broadly comprises of three parts one is the timing checks one is the constraints and one is the libraries so timing checks are the ones which we which which is the initial level of checking that we do it's like the first level of diagnosis that we do for the for the chip it's like setup hold recovery removal and all kind of checks that you can that you can imagine of that you can think of those will be are the different kinds of timing checks in case of the constraints are the ones where we create specifications where we describe what this design is supposed to do with the performance the gigahertz the MIPS and and those things are being decided by the constraints and finally the libraries this is the place where you take your delays from so you have got these different kinds of cells and and gates and everything but you need a model for a model for those gates and cells so the delay the delay models are being taken from the libraries so and and again the libraries again comes comprises of two different parts it's basically NLDM and the constant current source model so those will be a separate set of course but but this course will primarily focus on the different variety of checks or different kind of checks that you can even imagine of will, will be covered in this in this particular course so at the end of the course you will be able to look into your timing timing analysis in a different way in a qualitative way in the most qualitative way and come up with the most appropriate solution and also all this happen all this will happen in a very quick manner i hope you enjoy watching the videos in the similar fashion we enjoyed making them happy learning